Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Today we're going to take a look at fertilizing fields in cattle and crops. This is version 0.7 at the time of the recording. So if you're watching this later, it may be different, but this is how it works right now as of, uh, I think patch 0.6 is when they introduced it. And you can see this field is currently growing and there's some variation uh, in the crop height. And that's because I didn't do a very good job uh, spreading evenly the first time I fertilized. So we're, um, I think, a month or two into the growth cycle. I don't know exactly for sure. Uh, but the fertilization parameters have come down, so we need to reapply. And it's a little bit tricky. I think I've figured out how it works, so I'm going to share that with you. I'm not an expert. I'm not a real farmer. I don't know how this works in real life. Uh, but this is the method I found for determining how much of each type of fertilizer to put on your field. So if we bring up the, well, it's easiest if you uh, use your mouse cursor, just click on the field. It'll take you right to that field. So you can see I've got some summer wheat here and we've got our target parameters for uh, nitrogen, uh, phosphate and potassium. And we have our current values and each one of these you can actually turn on and it will show you a real time map of the field. I think it tracks it per square meter, if I remember right. So you can see we're, we're pretty low on nitrogen and potassium, and we're just kind of borderline on phosphate. If you go by the green, uh, if you go by the target numbers, we're pretty far off. So there's a lot of different types of fertilizers, and it's different percentages of each of these NPKs. So what we want to try to do is spread the right amount on to get these numbers all up to the target. So to help, uh, facilitate that, I went ahead and made a spreadsheet. So I'm going to tab over to that and I'll try to remember to zoom in in editing. So I made a spreadsheet. I actually made it in Google Sheets, but I exported it here to OpenOffice so I could get it on the screen a little better. So this basically you uh, put in the yellow stuff and it spits out the green stuff. So I've already put in my current values for an NPK. And then depending on which field you pick, it knows what size and depending on which crop, it knows the desired numbers for those. So I've picked summer wheat. So that's what we're growing. If we pick something else, the numbers change. And once I see that this is working right, I'll probably be sharing this out, uh, Twitter, Discord, the usual places you can find me. So what does this do? Well, we know we have 34 kilograms per hectare and we need 120. So obviously we need 86 to get up to there. And then that's per hectare. So field 22 is 3.7. So this just tells you the total you need. And then each of the fertilizing elements, I don't know what to call these, has a certain percentage. So this fertilizer here, the granular is NPK 20-10-10. So it's 20% nitrogen and then 10% each phosphate and potassium. So this does math to tell us we need to purchase basically 1,600 kilograms um, of NPK 20-10-10. And that will get us our nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. You can see we'd need 5,000 uh, to get the potassium up. But at that point, these would be way too high the nitrogen and phosphate. I hope that makes sense. But what you want to try to do, like if I pick one of these others, you can see these numbers aren't really that close. So the reason I picked the 20, 10, 10 is so we can basically buy the same amount and we can get our nitrogen and phosphate up. Then we can come back with another application of potassium and get it up to where it needs to be. So I've got my tractor uh, set up with 20, 10, 10. And we know we need the spread rate of 430 kilograms per hectare. And then that should get us up close to our desired number. So let's go back over to the game. Fire up the tractor. And I'm going to hit the wrong button. <laughs> so if we come over here, uh, I've got the spread width all the way out. We want to set this to as close to 430 as we can get, which should be 425. 
We set that to 425. Now, one thing I'm not sure about is, is the spreader aware of your speed? I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I just kind of drive about 15 kilometers per hour. That seems about the right speed. And I already have the guided steering set up, so I'm going to lock onto the track. Parking brake off. And away we go. Turn that on. And then we're just going to drive back and forth and spread the fertilizer on. And I'm going to actually go turn on the overlay for nitrogen, and we'll just track that. Little mini map will update, I think it's every five seconds, something like that. So I'm going to run back and forth on the field, and when I've got the field covered, we'll come back in and we'll take a look at the numbers. Okay, the spreading's done with the uh, initial application of the NPK 201010. And you can see our target numbers here, 108, we're almost up to 120, and 89, almost up to 95. So a little bit low, but pretty much on target. Now our potassium is still quite low at 63. We need like another 100 kilograms per hectare. So I'm going to go plug these numbers into the spreadsheet, and then we'll see uh, what we need to get for uh, potassium. So we got basically 89 and 63. So let's pop back over to the spreadsheet. We need, we've got 63. We can just plug that one in. The other two numbers we can just ignore. And then we're going to go pick the fertilizer K60. So we need 600 kilograms of that, and our spread rate needs to be 162. And this data is just on the other tabs. I've got the fields and their size that I typed in. I've got the various fertilizers and their percentages, which I typed in. And I've got the crops and their desired number targets that I typed in. So that's what these uh, all these fields are pulling in. And the spread rate took me a little bit to figure out what was going on. Uh, the spread rate needs to take into account the percentage. Uh, let's actually go back to this one because 20 is a nice, a nice number. So we need uh, 86 kilograms per hectare. But this uh, fertilizer is only 20% nitrogen, so it really needs to be five times that. So that's where we come up with the 430. That's our spread rate. Hope that makes sense. It took me a little bit to, to realize that it was taken into account the percentage. And I don't know if there's like a carrier, you know, some kind of mixture basically, and a lot of it's inert. I, I don't know how the fertilizer works, but doing it this way seems to get the numbers on target. Um, so that's what I'm rolling with. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If you know different, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but this is what works for me. So we need to buy... Get my K60 back up here. We need 600 kilograms and 162 on the spread rate. So let me go change the spread rate. We can't get 162, but we can do, we'll do 175. Kind of air on the, the high side there. And then I need to get K60 in here. So rather than driving all the way across the map, uh, I'm going to use some console commands. And we're going to get, what did I say, 600? That's that's close enough. 900. Then we're going to spread this on. Let's double check the spread rate. Yep. All good. Locked onto the auto steer. And off we go. So now this is just spreading down the potassium. Basically chalk, lime, whatever you want to call it. And I'm still tracking nitrogen on the mini-map, so let's turn that off and turn on the potassium. You see right there at the beginning of the field, it's kind of yellowish. It means we got a really heavy application right there. And I believe that's... That might be from the first application I did where I had the spread rate way too high. I had to crank it down right at the beginning. But anyway, I'm going to drive back and forth on the field uh, with the uh, the K60 here. And we'll come back in and take a look at the numbers. 
And we're back once again after spreading that. And you can see we've got pretty much close. We know at 120, 95, 160. We're at uh, 108, 89, 148. Not perfect, uh, but it's pretty close to the target. And you can see there's some hot spots here in the field where I got it a little thick, and there's also some thin areas. So the better job you do, of course, you know, the closer you can get. Uh, but I hope that makes sense, and I hope it helps somebody. The uh, in-game ca fertilizer calculator didn't seem terribly useful to me. Um, so I made my own with a spreadsheet. You can do this with just a calculator and figuring out the numbers. Uh, the only trick to keep in mind is uh, the spread rate to get you where you want to be is dependent on the percent of each of these elements in whatever you're spreading. So if it's 20%, you need five times your difference in spread rate per hectare. Hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching. Take care.